Hi, Butch Peel here from Jersey Jack Pinball. I just wanted to take a few minutes today to, to talk about play fields with you. How, do, how does Jersey Jack Pinball make our play fields? So being at the factory up here, we just happen to have a couple of them handy for you here. That's the Wizard of Oz, unpopulated blank play fields, and the Hobbit. So how do we make a play field? I'm glad you asked. The first thing we do, we start with a nine ply piece of plywood uh, hardwood plywood they put on a special machine that moves around and, and cuts and drills all the right holes all these odd shaped sh pieces that are made here the the indentations and routed out the shooter lane groove here where the ball comes out when you first launch it all these uh, strange shapes like the house and the Wizard of Oz and the, the pop-ups here and the in the Hobbit all these shapes have to be made and they have to be in the exact right spot and the exact same spot on every play field over and over again so we put this in a, a very fancy CNC routing machine, goes in, cuts all the holes, makes everything nice and smooth, and then puts in the spotting dimples here for everything that's gonna attach to the top surface of the play field. Then we flip these guys over, run them through that same machine again, and now we're gonna be cutting on the back side of the play field. And a lot of these have to be, the holes have to be cut out here for our, our general illumination uh, bulbs that go up through in these places, T-nuts, things that attach here, uh, magnets. Magnets work a lot better when there's not as much wood between them and the ball when they activate, so they have to be routed out. And then we put all the spotting holes and everything for items that are going to be attached to the back of the play field now. So that's what all these little dimples are here for, is something will be attached there. So then we put them back on our play field surface again, we go back over again, and we add the inserts. And these are clear plastic pieces that are fit into some of the holes here. Why are they clear, you might ask? Well, Jersey Jack Pinball, we use RGB LEDs behind these. So now with these clear inserts, if we change the color of the light behind them, we can make those inserts any color we want them to be during gameplay and provide really good visual cues to the player as he goes along. Once those are all in, we sand the entire play field very, very smooth. We apply the artwork. It's just like running a piece of paper through your color printer at home, except for it's a big board. It runs through, puts all the artwork on top of it. Then we're gonna apply two or three, four coats of protective clear coat to the top. And that's make it super hard and really smooth. So we're gonna polish and, and, uh, and buff that and make it really nice and smooth. And you're gonna get this, this beautiful shine to it. So these are then boxed up after that and sent to the factory where the people back in the back there can start adding items to them, top and bottom because this really is the, the, the heart of our pinball machines. You, you have a great play field, you've got a really good start towards a great game. And these, these are absolutely beautiful, I think you'll agree.